Good day everyone! Welcome to Brave Yoga Braid Advice Series number 4. My name is Dave, co-founder of Brave Yoga and today I will be discussing about Urva Mukha Shavanasana in Sanskrit or in English we call it Upward Facing Dog. So in this video, I will be discussing the common errors students usually do and how to properly correct uh, these errors so you can better do this posture safely all right so let's get to it so your upward facing dog is a common posture that is usually um, being done in a sun, sal sun salutation and this posture is an important uh, transition in each and every pose in a vinyasa flow class all right so let me show you how to properly do it first so coming from your high plank pose Take an inhale, exhale lower down to Chaturanga, and inhale up to your upward facing dog. So basically, upward facing dog is a back bend pose. But in this video, I will be talking about it as a full body workout, starting from your feet all the way up to the crown of your head. So first common errors that students usually do is over extending the thoracic spine and I'm guilty about that. If you are naturally flexible, you tend to overextend your spine. All right, so when you lift yourself up, you are crunching your, ba your back and you're bending yourself in half, right? So creating that compression on your lower back. So this pose doesn't just require flexibility but strength as well so think of it as a traction so instead of breaking your body in half all right think of it as lengthening the spine as if someone someone is pulling your head leaning forward and someone is pulling your legs towards the back that's how you create that length in your spine because after all this posture is a back bend and it's supposed to extend and lengthen the spine and how to properly correct this uh, common error so we engage your legs all right so coming from that your toes your toes should be pointing out so do not allow your heels to fall or drop out to the side so you have a strong and active feet pressing the tops of your feet down towards your mat so how to do that you want to point your toes out to the back all right that's how you engage your feet and by doing that, you are simultaneously engaging your legs as well. So when you point your toes out to the back, the soles of your feet pointing up to the ceiling, you are engaging the front of your legs, your quadriceps like this. And when you engage that legs, you tend to lift your kneecaps and lift your thigh off the mat like that. So when you do that, all right, that... Um, that thing that you are engaging your legs you are lengthening up your back avoiding compression on your lower back so how do you easily do that you kindly engage your glutes so slightly squeeze your glutes so that you can immediately engage your legs all the way up to your toes all right so that's how to properly correct that that's the first one second the hyperextension of your back all right, so if you are naturally flexible like me, you tend to hyperextend your thoracic spine. So how do you correct that? Think of um, leaning your heart forward, all right? So when you lift, you don't just break your back like this, all right? With the strength of your body, you want to inhale and lift yourself up and leaning your heart forward as you engage your legs. So again, someone is pulling your heart forward, your head forward, and someone is pulling your legs to the back, creating that, um, what do you call that? Um, traction, all right? So that you lengthen your spine, you're lengthening your body, instead of just breaking your body in half and creating that compression on your lower back. Because this is the usual complaint of students doing this posture, all right? That's how you safely do that. Second, the um, placid body. So you are not engaging your shoulders. So a very, very common error. So when you lift yourself up, it requires some strength, right? So you lift yourself up, inhale, 
lift and you they, they just straighten their arms all right so you have to engage your shoulders so you want to pull your shoulders down and back down and to the back all right gliding your shoulders down to the back engaging your shoulder as just slightly squeezing your shoulder blades together to open the front of your body your chest all right so you want to engage this muscle here and this muscle here all right so inhale you want to pull your shoulders down to the back lifting your chest up all right so you are creating that length on your neck so you want to pull your neck away from your ears right so that you are lengthening your spine as you do that traction as you inhale inhale lift strength and up that one so do not just collapse your shoulders like this all right you see that collapsing your shoulders it doesn't look good all right it creates so much tension here all right that one so you want to engage your shoulders breathe and lift through your heart like that all right that's the second one third one the crunching of your neck all right so most of the teachers would say lift and look up inhale all right so instead of just looking up crunching your neck like this especially if you have some problem on your neck think of this like um, allow your chin to lead the movement so you are lengthening in the front of your neck all right so your neck is just like the extension of your spine all right so lean your heart forward breathe in and then lift yourself up all right let me do it again inhale lift engage your glutes lift your chest lean forward all right pull your shoulders away from your ears and simply gaze up or at the tip of your nose like that all right lengthening the front of your neck instead of just looking up like that all right so one engage your legs pressing the tops of your feet down towards your mat slightly engaging your glutes all right breathe in pull your shoulders away from your ears leaning your heart forward and up all right and then just slightly gaze up all right if you don't have any problem with your neck gaze up lead with your chin as you breathe in so that you're lengthening all right last tip guys you want to strength you want to use rather the muscles on your back all right do not just press your hands using the strength of your arms so it is a whole body workout engaging from your feet up to your legs to your hands your chest all the way up to the crown of your head all right so you are strengthening all the back, mus back muscles in your body all right and one last all right so when you press the floor away to relieve all the tension on your wrist same thing i always say this when your hands are on your mat you have to spread your fingers wide and grip on your finger pads so you relieve the tension on your wrist as you lift yourself up Right, so that is your upward facing dog or your Urva Mukha Shavanasana. It is a very important posture in every yoga class. So make sure you do it properly and correctly. And it takes time to build strength and flexibility. Just be mindful that each and every time you do this, you breathe in and you lengthen your spine. So I hope you guys have learned something today in this video. If you have any concerns regarding this posture or if you, have, um, if you want me to discuss any posture, just please comment down below. Again, my name is Dave of Brave Yoga. Namaste.